Hello, my name is Dr. Meredith Warner and I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I did subspecialty training in foot and ankle surgery and I take care of a lot of complex and difficult foot and ankle problems and injuries. I'd like to talk about plantar fascia, specifically plantar fascia rupture as this has affected a couple of our NFL greats recently. A lot of people might wonder what the plantar fascia is. Commonly, when you injure the plantar fascia or you have pain from a degenerative condition called plantar fasciitis, people in the layman world term this as a, quote, stone bruise. Um, it, it literally feels like that, like you're stepping on a stone on your heel and it bruises you. So obviously it's a deep aching pain and it occurs with weight bearing. Well, what is the plantar fascia, you might be asking? The plantar fascia is actually a long, thin, fibrous structure See how thin this is? It's almost like a long, thin piece of gristle that sits on the bottom of the foot, attaches at the heel, and this is where people feel the stone bruise, right at this point on the bottom of the heel. It goes along the whole bottom of the foot, and then it vertically interdigitates and connects to all the toes, with the biggest connection being here at the big toe. And in fact, there's a structure, or I guess a biomechanical feature of the foot called the wind loss mechanism, where when you bend your toe for push off, when you're running and walking, it literally tightens or stretches a plantar fascia and that supports the arch and makes it stronger. So it's a more efficient structure for push off and strength. Well, if you rupture this structure, as some of our NFL players have recently done, and it's just flapping in the breeze, so to speak, then well, what happens when you stand and walk? Well, all of a sudden you've got nothing connecting the heel to the forefoot. You load here, you weight bear, all your weight's going through the shin and the arch, and it essentially can collapse the foot. If it doesn't collapse it right away, it at least makes the foot inefficient, weak, and you don't have good, strong push off. And so your reaction time's down, your propulsion speed's down, your jumping uh, height goes down, and it dramatically affects structure and function of the foot. Plantar fascia is fascinating to me. I've been treating it for years, and it's sort of become a pet project of mine to try to figure out better ways to treat it. I've actually designed a flip-flop to recover the plantar fascia that incorporates five treatment principles to sort of let the body heal itself naturally, which is obviously always the best way to heal. It's always better to not take a pill and let the body heal itself. It's always better to do the appropriate exercise and stretching than try to go get the latest, fanciest injection or lay in the newest machine. Um, you know, nature has been around for obviously many thousands of years and these things have evolved and we have a good way to heal this. <clears throat> right now, Peyton Manning is healing his Probably Drew Brees should heal his as well. You need to let the foot rest, but you need to keep it in the correct position. You need to stretch the plantar fascia. You need to keep the foot mobile and strong. You need to maintain integrity of the leg. You need to keep the Achilles limber. So healing it is not just a matter of sitting on the couch and doing nothing. There's a lot that goes into it. You need to rest the foot. You can do that with a boot or a rocker bottom sole. I put a rocker bottom sole on my flip flop for that specific reason. You need to cushion just the medial part of the heel which is the inside part. So you cushion here, you don't cushion here because if you don't cushion here and you cushion here, you can take a normal heel strike. If it's cushioned all the way across or it's not cushioned all the way across and there's even pressure applied medially and laterally, then people naturally walk on the outside of their foot to guard the inside part of the heel and cushion it themselves. So you need a structure that can do that. And obviously I incorporated that into my flip-flop as well. You need to have a good arch support, but you don't need a big one if you do this. If you slightly lift the big toe and stretch the plantar fascia, look what it does the first metatarsal. It sort of drops it down. Well, that naturally builds the arch. And when you naturally build the arch, you don't need a foreign structure pushing up on it and annoying your foot. Arch supports do this. Well, that's bothersome to a lot of people. It's painful. Not to say that arch supports aren't an awesome treatment. I use them all the time. But if you can use the body's own mechanisms to create the arch naturally, why wouldn't you do that? And that's what I did with a flip-flop. You put a ramp and lift it up, you naturally create the arch, and at the same time, you gently stretch the plantar fascia, but you can only do that in the setting of a rocker bottom sole. Drew Brees was put in a boot after the game for the simple reason that a boot immobilizes a foot, has a rocker bottom sole, and gives tissue rest. Tissue rest allows healing. So basically, in a nutshell, the plantar fascia is extremely important. It supports the entire body weight of the foot. So if you're six foot five, 240 pounds, or something like that, this is it. This is what's allowing you to propel forward and supporting the entire weight. Without it, everything would collapse and be crushed and you would not be fast. So the plantar fascia is important. It should be babied. It should be treated well, but it shouldn't be ignored and, you know, completely rested. You shouldn't just sit on the couch and do nothing, obviously. You shouldn't mask it with steroid injections. You shouldn't 
put on fiberglass tape and go run about and do your normal sport and activity. Um, you know, if it's not a life or death situation, like you don't have to go back into combat to save the life of a fellow soldier, I would say probably treat the injury, let it rest, and let time and nature take its course so that you can be strong again next season. For any other questions, please read my blog, www.warnerorthopedics.com. Thank you.